From Detroit to the nations, you are listening to the world's number one Christian station, Worship Center Radio, the platform of champions. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, everybody. We thank God for you all tuning in right now to the Angels of Melody International uh, with your host, Ms. Angel on deck right here on Worship Center Radio. And we just thank God for his many, many blessings. Giving a quick shout out to Dr. Rhoda Bird, to Prophet Blaine, and our brother, I call him DJ Juan Johnson. And we just grateful on tonight for what God is doing and for all of you that are tuning in all around the world. I'm telling you, we just excited. We thank the Lord for the revival on last week that went on the Blaze Revival. I'm telling you, it was powerful. Each night was a power-packed night. And so we're giving shout-outs once again to all of our ministers that ministered on last week. And uh, tonight, a lot of you know that we've been promoting, I'm telling you, an, an awesome play that's coming up March the 19th. And I'm telling y'all, the, the pages have been flooded. <laughs> I'm telling you, they have been flooded. 
We thank God. I'm telling you, I've been going going at it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you name it. We thank the Lord for this great play. I got to give a shout out to our sisters here. We thank God for uh, Michelle Durant. Um, it, it was through her how I connected um, to this great man of God and also to our sister, uh, LaDora King. We want to give a shout out on tonight, but tonight, we thank God we have the writer himself and director of the great play called Pains of the Past. But before we bring Pastor Wells uh, to talk about this great play, we're going to go to um, the commercial of it, and we'll be right back. T. Wells Ministries, in collaboration with Black Forest Incorporated, presents the powerful stage play backed by popular demand, Pains of the Past. Written and directed by Tony Wells. I need to hold $50 to Friday. I'm not about to go to my wife and get no more money to give to you. You already owe her money. If, if you're the man of the house, you, you should be able to the, the make her give you the $50 and you give it to me. Now, is you the man? Is you wearing the pants or is you wearing the skirt? Saturday, March 19th at 7 p.m. Doors open 6 p.m. Matinee, 2 p.m. At the Northwest Activity Center. Paul Road, 18100 Myers Road, Detroit, Michigan, 48235. Here we go with the God stuff. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. I'm about to talk about the God stuff. God ain't did nothing for me, Kenny. You know what? I don't know what's going on here, but what I do know is I'm ever... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mom, where are y'all going? We're about to go to the casino, baby. <laughs> the casino? You just got finished singing about serving the Lord. What happened to all that? Let me tell you something, huh? You know what? I'm getting about sick of you and your mess. I'm getting tired of it. Oh, 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 oh. so you sick of it, huh? What you gonna do about it since you so sick of it? If you don't show me all that you tell me, how am I supposed to know? $20. Preferred seating and VIP reception, $35. Get your tickets today at God's World. Call 313-862-8660 or Globe Bible Bookstore. That's 313-259-8611. For more information, call Kevin at 313-346-3008 or Lador at 248-862-8994. Backed by popular demand, Pains of the Past. Hi. You've heard it, pains of the past. So now we're going to bring on our guest tonight, Pastor Anthony Wells. God bless you, man of God. How are you? I am good, sister. How are you? Doing good, doing good. Yeah. We thank we thank God for having you on with us tonight. I'm telling you, this is I'm I'm really excited about this play, and um, just I want you to kind of like reintroduce yourself and everything and. Talk a little bit, you know, I know we don't want to hear too much because we don't want this, everybody to just, you know, want to be surprised when they come. But just talk right. a little bit about what this great uh, play, Pains of the Past, is about. Okay, well, um, first of all, I want to say that I am really thankful for uh, this uh, chance, this opportunity uh, to be on your show. So I really thank God for you. Mm -hmm. And um, I am really, really excited about uh, this production uh, Pains of the Past. Um, this is our encore production. We did the play before. And okay. I'm telling you, it really blessed the people. It really touched the people. And a lot of people have been reaching out saying, well, when are you all going to do it again? Mm -hmm. And so we, we're in the process now of doing it again. And we are uh, really, really excited about uh, the play. Um, I wrote the play um, a couple of years ago. Okay. And uh, it deals it deals with with past issues. It deals with unresolved issues because so many people, you know, they're going through things and, 
you know, there's people that's going through things that we wouldn't even, you know, uh, imagine that they were going through the things that they're going through, you know. Yeah. But they have issues in their lives and they have things going on that they haven't talked about, they haven't told any anybody about those issues. And those past issues are um, having an effect on where they are right now, yeah. you know. And so I really wanted to um, write this play and tell a story about a young man who went through some things and, and kind of just show how it's affecting his life, affecting mm-hmm. his marriage, and things like that. And so we bring bring all those issues to the forefront, you know. Um, I, I really, I really want to say that it's, it's to uh, cause us to deal with, you know, where we've been, and it's to let us know that we can be healed and we can be delivered and we can overcome um, the things that we've been through. So I am excited about the message that is in this play. Um, I'm just excited about it. Yes, me too. You know, as you were stating, there's a lot of people that are going through, um, you know, pains from their past. Uh, you got a lot of people going through pains right now, even in the present, you know, yeah, exactly. and yes, and it's just like, wow, I got pains in the present. I got stuff in the past. You know, some people don't know whether they're coming or going. Yeah. And um, when I heard about the play, just seeing the name itself was powerful. And I was yeah. like, wow, pains of the past. This is needs to be talked about because yeah. we have pastors that yeah. are going through ministers around the world that are going through yeah. past hurt. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. and they're yeah. preaching down and smiling and people thinking, oh, this is a mighty woman and mighty man of God. And, you know, yeah. they're, they're seeing the out part, but they're not seeing that so many of people, ministers, you know, as well yeah. as others around the world are facing, you know, they're being tortured. Yeah, yeah. Even by their past. You know, they say, yeah. "Oh, I've overcome this situation," but it's there. It's there. It's there. And you know, I thought about when you said um people are dealing with things in the present right now. And mm-hmm. what a lot of people um don't understand is that a lot of the things that's happening in the present right now really began in the past. You know. That's right. Uh, that's right. Childhood issues childhood hurts, things that you go through, when those things aren't dealt with, when those things are unresolved, they spill over into our adult life, and they affect where we are right now. But, right. Um, you know, so I, 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 I believe that, you know, God wants us to deal with those unresolved hurts, those unresolved issues, Mm-hmm. things that we don't talk about, things that we may even be ashamed of, you know. Some of yes, us are, are, are ashamed to say that when I was a child I was abused or some of mm-hmm. us are ashamed to talk about um, how we were hurt or how we were rejected or the depression that we went through. But, you know, we really just want to open all all this stuff up so That's that people right. can say, you know what, God, yes, I went through it. Yes, I experienced it. But here I am, God. I want you to take me and make me whole. And that's really what this is this play is all about, you know? Amen. Amen. I'm telling you, you know, that's that's powerful. So, um now where is this uh once again you can share uh with everyone, where is this awesome play uh going to be seen at? Well, it's gonna be um at the North Northwest Activity Center, um, inside the Paul Robeson Theater. Mm. Um that address is um, 18100 Myers Road, and that's in Detroit, Michigan, um, uh, 48235. Yeah, so inside the Northwest Activity Center. And so, um, you know, we're excited about that. The tickets are uh, $35 VIP, and mm-hmm. general admission is $20. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, I know every, I know a lot of people um, are excited. I know I'm excited about it as well. And I'm telling you, it's just awesome. It's it's awesome. And I um, you know, you don't hear uh, about too many plays that's talking about pain. You you really yeah. don't. A lot of yeah. stuff is yeah. comedy. You know, it's nothing wrong with comedy, but it's yeah. good when you can have 
a, a play like this. To me, I consider yeah. it like a play of deliverance. Yeah. Exactly. You know, exactly. uh, you never know someone, you know, you may have many people that come see the play will be delivered that night. Exactly. You know, yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that's what it, that's what it's all about. It, it's it's about ministry. You know, I think it's so awesome how God gives us different uh, tools, you know, to use to minister and to reach out to people. And I thank God for drama, for plays and things like that, because, like I said, that's a tool that God uses to reach out to people. And um, that's what it's all about. It's all about about ministry. This particular right. play. Yeah. That's and right. you know I'm excited about it too because um, it's it's dealing with um, the pains of the past, but it also addresses so many other issues like um, domestic uh, violence. Okay. It's talked about in the play, um, depression. Uh-huh. It's talked about in the play. Um, suicide yeah. is dealt with in the play. Um, substance abuse, alcohol, mm-hmm. drugs, all those yeah. things are talked about within in the play. Um, abuse, uh, mental abuse, oh, physical yeah. abuse, sexual abuse, mm-hmm. and even verbal abuse. Oh, all yeah. these different subjects are being brought out in this particular play. And all of these things are the things that sometimes, especially as Christians, we want to sweep under the rug That's and we want to, you know, uh, we, we, we put on our church uh, costume, so to That's speak. Right. That's right. That's right. And, and we, we come to church and we, we, we go through all the church motions like we're okay. But at the end of the day, we got all these things that we've swept up under the rug or that we've hidden in the closet, you know, and, and we don't even realize that those things are keeping us from moving forward into our destiny, you know. That's right. You know, so that's why we we're, we're trying to take the the cover off all of these issues. You know, all of these particular issues. So we talk about all that in in the play. So yeah, it, it's powerful, a very powerful message. Yes, you know, yeah. you were just saying something. Uh, you were naming off different situations, and I can relate. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Um, to one of them, uh, just to share a quick testimony. Maybe someone is listening in that 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 may need to hear this but Mm -hmm. you know i come from a family you know uh that's you know in the church i have a lot of uh, preachers in my family and stuff like that and my dad is a minister and preacher and you know all of this was going on in the family but you know there were issues you know as a child coming up now with me um i have to say i was haunted it it took i'm a i'm a i'm gonna tell you this the lord fully delivered me yeah. from the 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 hurts from that past I want to mm-hmm. say a few years ago now I've been in ministry for 10 years I just celebrated 10 years Friday and yeah. I'm going to tell you a couple of years ago God fully I thought I was just free from you know all the hurt and stuff but I still had some baggage you know yeah. what I'm saying yeah. because yeah. and and I and I didn't know until it was brought out, you know what I'm saying? And I found all this hurt and wounds, and and I began to cry out, and I said, God, I want to get rid of this. I want this to be, you know, gone. Let your Holy Ghost fire burn up all this this, this anger and this hurt that seemed like it's it's been hidden. Because coming up as a child, uh, man of God, I was was raised up in a good way, but Mm -hmm. I dealt with mental abuse. Yeah. I was suicidal at the age of 10. Somebody might be out there like, wow, what? Yes, from the age of 10 all the way in my 20s. And I mean, I've had, uh, you know, children. You know, I even had got married. I was married. And, you know, I was still battling with suicide because of, like you said, the past when I was a child. And a lot of people kept saying, well, girl, you grown. You know, you're yeah. grown now, and, yeah. you know, it's time to put that in the past. You was a child. And you know what I did, man of God? I tried to put it in the past by drinking. My and God. then I had became yeah. an alcoholic. So yeah. then abusive behavior began yeah. to come, not toward my children, but toward mm. people I was abusive yeah. to. You, you, you understand? Yeah. And yeah. that was a problem. Because why? 
the past, things that happened. I didn't trust anyone. Everybody I felt was out to hurt me. You know what I'm saying? And and at the age of 10, you know, I used to just fall on the floor as a child and say, why was I born? I want to die. Kill me. You know, that's how it was. I had pills. I got a hold of pills and a knife. But I always would hear the yeah. voice of the Lord. I didn't know it was the Lord then, but it was the voice of the Lord would tell me, this is going to stop. That yeah. it, it would, don't kill yourself. I love you. There's purpose for your life. So yeah. I battled yeah. with that off and on. But then when I became an adult, you know what I'm saying? That spirit still was there because I was still being mentally abused by different ones in my family uh, to where uh, it drove me to drink and still yeah. drink myself really to death. But God freed me from that man of God. And I just thank oh God. God. And God I just God. wanted, I wanted to share that because yeah. it, it could be a woman, a man of God that's out there dealing with something right now. And they need to know that God will free you. He God will, will deliver you from yeah. that. He really, he will deliver you from that spirit of sorrow and of the past, and and it and a lot of people think it's just easy to just say, well, you know, I was a child when it happened, but hey, yeah. it's a scar there, and yeah. God yeah. has to come in and heal that scar and make you whole. What would you say on that, man of God? Amen. You know, I think that is an awesome testimony, and as you were talking, I just thought about this. Um, a lot of people don't understand, but when there are unresolved, when there's an unresolved issue in your life, it opens up the door for so many other negative things to come in. That's you know, right. It opens up that door. And I thought about how you said you went through the abuse that you went through. So mm. then that opened up the door for uh, uh, alcohol. Yes, or that opened up the door for, you know, that caused you to be abusive in different ways. So mm -hmm. uh, when, when we go through things and when we don't resolve those issues, it opens up the door for other things to come in to yeah. our lives. And, 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 and um, you know, I thought about even in the play, um, because of some of the things that was going on in this young man's life, you, you know, you're going to see how so many things begin to happen in his life. And yeah. um, th another thing, when when you dealing when you're dealing with those unresolved issues, it don't only it don't only affect you, but it affects right. the people that are connected to you. That's you know, true. It, it affects the people that are around you. And see, this is the reason why the enemy the enemy he he want to hide that he wants to hide it from you. He don't want you to know you know or deal with what's really going on because again it's not only affecting you it's affecting your loved ones it's affecting That's your right. marriage it's affecting your children it's affecting yeah. your yeah. ministry you know it's affecting all these other areas of your life but God is saying that now is the time to say God whatever it is in my life that's, that's hindering right. me that's holding me back that's keeping me from moving forward God, I want you to show it to me, and I want you to help me deal with it so that that's I right. can be free. And that's the that's thing right. we got to understand. Right. We can be free. We don't have that's to right. live the rest of our lives as victims. We don't have to live the rest of our lives under the pain of what we went through, under the pain of what, we've been, what we experienced. The mm -hmm. Bible says that whom the Son has set free, he is free Indeed, and so That's right. I'm telling you, I feel, I feel uh, uh, the power of God. You know, even as we're talking, that yeah. God wants to lose somebody, and God wants That's to right. set somebody free, and God wants somebody to know that you don't have to carry that pain for the rest of your life. That's you know, right. You don't have to carry it. And so I, I'm telling you, I, that's an awesome testimony uh, that you shared. That's awesome because what you said is you've been set free. You know, yeah. you've yeah. been set free. And that's letting somebody know, listen, I don't care how long you've been in the church. You might be a preacher. You that's might right. be an evangelist. It does not matter what it is. You can be honest about it, and you that's can right. be set free. Amen. That's right. That's right. And you know what, man of God, how you know you set free is you can talk about those issues and you won't <laughs> feel that you won't feel that evil. Yeah. You won't yeah. cry about it no more. Yeah. And that's how yeah. I knew I was free because a few of those people, I could love on them today and yeah. not feel like I want to knock them out. 
somewhere. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Or or feel yeah. like, oh, here they come. Or, you know, if they're talking to me, I'm having this sick feeling. That's how I knew that I yeah. was free because I was able to face that them people and I was able to face that spirit and let yeah. that spirit know where to go. My God. That's you powerful. know, yeah, because God, he said he's given us authority, you know, yeah. over the spirit. He's given us authority. So I had to speak yeah. to that spirit and let that spirit, let that spirit of fear, no fear. You will yeah. not intimidate me no more. Hallelujah. This Glory hurting God. spirit, this, 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 want to snatch your head off spirit. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because that's yeah. how it was with me, you know, and, and every now and then, you know, sometimes that thing would try to, you know, come back at you. You know, somebody yeah. gets you mad, you ready to go mafia style on them almost. And you got to sit back and think, hold on, you know, God, you have freed me, you know, yeah. from this thing. I don't want to go there. But the enemy Hallelujah. will try to have you like you looking stupid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Have somebody That's to say right. something to you to get you off your square. And That's then right. you think, am I really delivered? And then sometimes we may get the big head and feel like, oh, I'm totally delivered. Yeah. But when things yeah. happen, here you go again. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Difference. Maybe you caught yeah. up in fear, and now you 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 know you need more deliverance. You know, well, but so, there's nothing you know, wrong with that. Yeah. Sometimes I think too, what we do is we we suppress things, yeah. and we think that we're delivered from it, but really it's just suppressed. We suppress it, and yeah. um, we go on, we go on like we're okay, and and even some people may think that you know they're okay. And they mm-hmm. and, and they suppress those things, and it's something because when you get in the right situation, yeah. that thing yeah. that you thought was suppressed, it'll rise up. <laughs> you, oh you know my what I'm God, saying? you right it'll about It'll rise that. up, and you'll find yourself saying, "God, I thought I was over that." You know, yeah, that's God, right. I thought, I thought, I didn't know that was still there. You that's know, right. um, I didn't know that I was still hurt by that. I didn't know I was still affected by that. But that's not what God wants us to do. He don't want us to just suppress it. You know, he wants to totally heal us and totally uh, deliver us from it. You know, the scriptures say, if any man be in Christ Jesus, that he is a new creature. That's and right. And he says that old things are passed away and behold, all things have become new. And so we are a new creature, but we have to walk in the newness, you know. We have to That's walk right. it out, you know. That's so right. we can't just say, well, I'm a new creature, but we don't do the work. You know what That's I mean? That's right. That's right. We have to walk it out. So that means sometimes you got to you gotta, you gotta talk about what you've been through. You got to get on the phone and you got to call the person that, that hurt you and, and say, I forgive you, you know. Yes. Um, I love you, you know. You you got to do what you need to do because at the end of the day, it's about my freedom. It's about my deliverance. So I can't hold on to what you did to me. I can't hold on to what happened to me. I got to find out what, what is it that I need to do so that I can let this stuff go so that that's I can right. go forward into my destiny. You know, that's so right. I think that, that's powerful. Now, when you said about, uh, even in that, when you said that it brought me in memory, uh, uh, another thing that I would share um, uh, maybe this will help someone out. Um, my oldest uh, daughter, mm-hmm. father, is, is in prison for the rest of his days, okay? Oh, yeah. And mm-hmm. um, I remember some years back, I was holding things. You know, I really was. I was holding some serious issues and, you yeah. know, yeah. I, uh, uh, wishing death, all kind of things, you know, when you're younger and all that stuff, all this stuff. I mean, I had anger and it got to the point to where when my daughter uh, got old enough where she was writing letters back and talking to him on the phone, she would mm-hmm. say, you know, daddy asked about you. I will get ill. I will feel sick. And I would tell her, do not mention that name. I don't care if you talk to him, don't mention that name. But do you know when God saved me, brother? When he saved me, I'm talking about, I ain't talking about no half stepping. I'm talking about when he delivered me and began to purge things up out of me. Do you know what happened? I heard go there and ask for forgiveness. Now, Now, listen to this. I'm looking like, hold on. He did this and did that. What I look like, I don't need to be saying forgive me. You know, he need to be saying forgive me. But I had to look at this thing. The, the, yeah. the ill feelings and the things that I've said to him and the wishing this and wishing that. Do you know, brother, when I went there, 
And it was mm-hmm. not easy. I tell you that enemy wanted to put a lump in my throat, didn't want yeah. me to really speak. I found myself getting sick. But I went to that jail and I looked him in his face. And this one, this uh-huh. might help someone, too. This is another way of knowing that you have been delivered when you boldly can go to that person and say, forgive uh-huh. me. And when yeah. they say, yeah. forgive me, you can really accept that thing. And you can yeah. feel the load just lift off. And I began to look at that brother. And I said, you know what? I said, he, he began to start talking first. And he said, I yeah. want you to forgive me the way I treated you and the things that I've said and the hurt and not really being there the way I should. And he began to just share these things. And when he said it, then I began to look at him. And as I was talking to him, tears was falling down my face. I said, I'm a woman of God now. And I said, and I have to tell you, I want to repent. I said, yeah. of the ill feelings. The things that I've said, the the death uh, oh stuff, different things that I said to you, all those things to get back at mm-hmm. you. I said, I want you to forgive me. And he yeah, looked at me yeah. in a shock because he couldn't believe that because he yeah. said he felt he deserved that. I said, but no, you didn't deserve that. Two wrongs don't make a right. I said, you yeah. have a soul. And yeah. I said, and today, I'm here. Yeah, and I began yeah. to write prayers out and send it to him, and and yeah, and God. just love on him as a brother. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And not have the feelings of the past because I knew I had moved on. You know, yeah. but I was saying that to say this: even in our walk with God, we have to come to a point we cannot hold grudges. Yeah. Yeah. We cannot yeah. be evil. I'm even now I'm going through some things with certain yeah. people in the family. You know what I'm saying? Different yeah. things are going on and, and I try to be careful and, and I may say some things, but I say, God, I need you to really help me. This is how I feel, but it's the it's about how you feel and what yeah. you say that I need to do in this matter. Because people are leaving here. Yeah, people yeah, are yeah. dying in their sleep. They falling dead, and if we got an uh, ounce, he said nothing but the pure in heart shall see God. Yeah. I don't care if you prophesying, casting out demons or whatever, but having a hate in your heart for someone, yeah, unforgiveness yeah. will take you straight to hell, first yeah. class. Yeah. yeah. So we yeah. have to be careful, man of God, and yeah. even with our pains of the past and our pains of the present. We still have to learn to turn that stuff over. I'm not just speaking to the people listening. I'm even addressing this to myself. You know what I'm saying? We have to learn to get to that place of forgiving, letting that past really go. Because like you said, the word said, we are new creatures. Now that old Mm -hmm. stuff is old, but we hold on to that. And we don't want to keep holding on and, and go to hell with those things coming on along with us. You understand? Yeah. So yeah, we have right. to let we have to let that free in. And I thank God for you, uh, Pastor, for doing this play. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And yeah. I pray that this play will go even around the world because people need to hear about the pains of their past that they can be free. It's nothing but the devil that want to keep this spirit uh, hoovering over people and letting them know that you cannot be free and that you need to hold you. You cannot let loose. You can this going to follow you. Like some people say, I'll take this to my grave. No, Mm -hmm. You don't mm-hmm. want to take this to your grave because you, uh, you, you you may not see heaven. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And yeah, so yeah. We, we, we have to uh, be careful. I'm I'm feeling the power of God right now, just like you said. Yeah. And I, and I feel you. deliverance taking place. Yeah. Someone listening in now is being yeah. delivered. Let the tears fall. Hallelujah. Make that yeah. call on tonight. If, if God is leading you to make a phone call and yeah. say, forgive me, even if you yeah. felt like you didn't do nothing, but just to yeah. even get it off your chest, to even set the atmosphere right, to say, forgive yeah. me. And if that person to still hold a grudge, then that's on them. But set yourself free and be right in the yeah. sight of God. What would yeah. you say about that, man of God? You know, I'm telling you, it's something that you said that because while you were talking, I felt in my spirit that even somebody is somebody that's listening that needs yeah. to make a phone call. They yeah. need to just call somebody tonight, you know. Uh, don't even let this day go by. Don't let this, this day end without making that phone call and calling that person that hurt you um, and, and just saying to that person, you know what, I forgive you. 
I That's forgive. Right. You know, you gotta you gotta learn how to forgive people that don't even ask you for forgiveness. But that's why, right. and a lot of people don't understand that. But sometimes you gotta ask people that don't even. You gotta forgive people that don't even feel as though they did you wrong. You that's don't right. wait on them to ask for forgiveness to forgive. You have to start the the process in your own heart. Say even if you never ask me to forgive you, I forgive you. You know. That's right. And so when you were talking, I just felt that real strong in my spirit that yeah. maybe, that if somebody that's listening that that need to make that phone call, that need to go to that person, that need to say, "You did this to me, and you did that to me, but tonight I forgive you. Tonight I'm that's letting right. it go. Tonight right. I will know. I'm making up in my mind that I will yeah. not." Continue to carry the hurt of what yeah. you did to me. I will not continue to hear in my ears the things that you said to me. I will not continue to be victimized by what happened to me. Tonight, I forgive you in the name of Jesus, yeah. and I let it go. I That's let what, it go amen. tonight. Yes. I felt that in my spirit when you were talking. I, it, it, it just clear as day that somebody yes. needs to make that phone call. And when you make that phone call, God's going to move in such an awesome and a mighty yes. way, and you're going to sense just freedom and deliverance is going to overtake you tonight if you That's make right. that phone call. Hallelujah. That's right. And you know what? Not only the phone call, maybe somebody not need to get in that car and, do, and, do, and drive over somewhere. Do a drive. Do a drive. That's right. <laughs> Come on, somebody hey. need to do some drive-bys tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. I know, that's right. Come with a peace offering. Come with a cup of coffee, a pie, Come a coffee, on. You know, Come and on. say, yeah. hey, forgive me. You know yes. what I'm saying? For those that's yes. even listening, maybe you got a baby mama, baby daddy, however, ex-husband, ex-wife, My whatever, God. whoever it is in the family, you know, yes. call them up. But get that thing straight. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And like I said, Hallelujah. I'm not only speaking to the people out there, but I'm speaking to myself. You know yes. what I'm saying? And, and man of God, let, let us pray. I'm going to say a word of prayer right now. Amen. Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I, I thank you for the man of God right now. I thank you for the vision. I thank you for this play that you have given him to be released, oh God. Oh, oh. Lord, we, we pray right now, Lord, that, that this play will move around from state to state, God, even in the countries, Lord. Lord, we even ask that the DVDs, oh God, will, 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 will say, oh God, in the name of Jesus. So many people, Lord, are dealing with pains of yes. their past and even dealing with pains even now, God. Hallelujah. And you said nothing but the pure in heart shall see you. Lord, yes. I'm even throwing myself in this prayer. Father, I ask that you will help us, Lord. Help us be uh, uh, overcomers of the past yes. as well as the present, oh God. Uh, in please. the name yes. of Jesus, in Lord, that of... hurt in that pastor's heart, that hurt in that woman of God, that man of God, Lord, our brother and our sister around the world yes. that's going through from uh, 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 mental abuse, that's going through from uh, 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 Verbal abuse that's going yes, through God. physical abuse, uh, abuse of alcohol, abuse yes. of drugs, uh, abuse of, of the past for yes. prostitution, whatever it that's, is yes. that yes. the yes. enemy tries to throw at them, oh God. We yes. throw it back to him now in the yes. name of Jesus. And Lord, yes. we just thank you right now that you said in your word that you have given us power to tread on serpents and scorpions yes. and over all the powers of the enemy. And you said that nothing shall hurt us. Well, Lord, we do a drive by the night in the camp hey. of the enemy uh -huh. and we just yes. shoot down and we burn down and we cut yes. up and we yes. throw out now in the name yes. of Jesus every spirit of, of suicide right now from yes. the past every spirit of fear in the yes. name of Jesus every yes. spirit of trickery whatever it is God to keep your people in bondage we yes. ask now that your Holy Ghost fire will burn the chains of addiction right now. now loose Do them now. now in the name of Jesus in the oh, name God, of so many people cannot go further even in the ministry because yes. of the past, because of fear. But we just yes. set notice right now in the camp of the enemy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We just shoot down right now Hallelujah. every bit of things that are keeping your people hostage 
in the yes. name of Jesus, that they will be free, oh God, even on March the 19th, God, as this play go, Lord, let your power and your fire, hallelujah, hallelujah fall yes, upon the people of hallelujah. God in that building, in the name yes, of Jesus, that Do they will God. leave out not the hallelujah. same, God. Many that Thank will come you. in there burning down from pains of the past, God, yes, let them God. leave out, God, feeling yes, free, God. Lord. Doing that God. every weight Hallelujah. off their shoulders, oh God, will be yes, released, God. Remove, Lord, yes, in the God. name of Jesus. And Lord, yes, I thank Lord. you for every person that's acting, even in this play now, God. Bless yes. them in their homes, God. Bless the yes. men of God that wrote it, oh God. Bless yes. our sister Michelle and our sister Lador on tonight. In the yes. name of Jesus and everybody yes. that's listening in right now around the world, Lord. Maybe somebody's listening in and crying right now, saying yes. that I have a lot on my plate. I feel yes. like a, a, a suicide was taken over. Well, Lord, we thank you right now that every assignment of the enemy to destroy yes. your people, oh God, is now canceled in the yes. name of Jesus. Yes. And Lord, we just thank you right now. We give yes. you praise right now for this play, oh God. Pains yes. of the past, oh God. Lord, Hallelujah. I thank you that you're going to do something with yes. this play, God. Lord. In Hallelujah. the name of Jesus. Lord, I Hallelujah. thank you that it will be heard all over the world, Hallelujah. God. In thank the name you. of Jesus. That people will get their self oh God. Even yes, those God. that was the accuser, those that have done the things to cause yes. the hurt, that yes, them too God. will say, I'm sorry. In yes, the name God. of Jesus. Not the in ones the that name. just received, but those that have done it, oh God. That yes, set the God. root, God. In yes, it, and they God. will come out and say, forgive me, God, yes, in the God. name of Jesus. Lord, in I thank name. you even now that you're drying yes. up the tears of sorrow and turning yes. them into the tears of ah, joy. Hallelujah. In the name Glory of Jesus. God, God that hallelujah. woman, that man, that boy and girl that's facing oh, in torment even in their sleep, Lord, right now, we cancel that assignment, oh God. Give ah, them sweet sleep you. on tonight. Give yes. them rest, God, yes. in the name of yes, Jesus. God. Those that are dead in a grave and those that are alive yes, that's dealing hurt from the past for those that have passed on. Oh, yes, God, we just bind it up right now. Every spirit, yes, hallelujah, of hallelujah. holding on to the yes, pain God. of the dead, oh, God. Yes, in yes, the God. name of Jesus, name God, it's about Jesus. life and not the dead. In yes, the name God. of Jesus, those that are yes, dead is gone, God, wherever yes. they may be. They are gone. But it's about yes. us getting ourselves together here, breathing life, God. So, Lord, yes. we ask now that even in the homes of your people everywhere, God, that your yes. angels will be released right now. That your right spirit now. of peace, oh, God, is being released in the homes of your people. Right now. That your right spirit now. of peace, hallelujah, is released hallelujah. in the prisons tonight, right God. Now. That right your now. spirit of peace, God, release will be released, it, God. God, right now peace. in the hospitals, peace. God, on peace. that peace. job, peace. Lord, in the name peace. of, in that marriage, God, peace. in that peace. relationship, peace. in the name peace. of Peace. Higher. Lord, thank we you. thank you. And we thank give you praise you. and honor for what you're going to do yes, and yes. what you're going to continue to do and thank what you're you. doing now. In hallelujah. Jesus' name, God, I thank, thank you, Lord. Jesus. Let your fire, hallelujah, rest up on your man of God right now, yes. Pastor Wells, from the crown yes, of his head to the yes. soles of his feet, God. Let yes, him begin God. to write more plays, God. Yes. Hallelujah. I thank you for more plays that will be worked uh, out, God. Hallelujah. Yes, for messages God. that you have given him yes. in the yes, name God. of Jesus. And I thank yes, you right yes. now that no one is formed against them will prosper, oh God, yes, in the God. name of Jesus. Lord, in I thank you right Jesus. now. Hallelujah, that you're Glory even lifting him up. Give him strength tonight, even in his Hallelujah. body, God. Give him strength, yes, God, from the Hallelujah. crown of his head and to the soles yes, of his God. feet. In the yes, name God. of Jesus, God, Amen. never let him lack, but let him always have. Uh, Bless his ministry, God. Bless yes. his family, Lord. Keep them yes, covered, God. God. Yes. Hallelujah. And we thank Hallelujah. you. We, we praise you, God. We give you all the honor. We it's give you so all worthy. the glory. In so Jesus' worthy. name we pray. Jesus Amen. Name. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. Thank Hallelujah. You. Thank Hallelujah. You, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. I'm telling you, man of God, I felt that thing. Amen. I felt it. I felt Amen. like I needed to just pray because I felt like an attack was happening to somebody My right now. God. And I yes. had to begin. I had, and when I felt that attack happening, I wanted to yes. go in like a, a machine gun and say, oh, yes. devil, not tonight. Yes. Hallelujah. We expose that spirit 
and let yes. that thing know you got to go tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and you know, that's what the whole thing is about. It's about exposing the enemy, you know? Yeah. Exposing the enemy. And that's what even this play is doing. You know, we've had so many attacks this time, even preparing for the play. We've had so many. I'm like, God, what is going on? It's like we're just being attacked. From I mean, people have come, people have walked away. I mean, yeah. there's so many attacks, but it's because the enemy is being exposed. That spirit, That's right. That That's spirit right. That, that is trying to hold, hover over people's lives um, because of what they went through uh, is being exposed. And the enemy right. don't want it. He don't want it to be exposed because when it's exposed, then we can deal with it. Amen. That's right. And That's the enemy right. don't want us to do it. But I'm telling you, I thank God for even your prayer tonight because I feel strength and I needed that because of the attacks that we have experienced yeah. you know, during, during this production. You know, so I thank God for, for that prayer. Amen. 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 Well, you know what? The, en- the enemy gets mad because yeah. you're talking about people being, you know what I'm saying, being free from pain. Yeah. And the yeah. enemy don't yeah. want nobody free. He wants yeah. them to be bound. He want them, you know, you know what I'm saying? He want them to stay in that fear and crying and stuff. And, you know, another a thing that's really a big thing that's going on today is pain mm. in the church. My it's God, a yes. lot yes. of that going on. A lot of pain. Pain yes, in the ministry. Yes. You know, you, yes. you, I'm not saying all pastors. I'm not saying yes. that. I'm not saying all members of a church. But you have so many ministers that, that have hurt yeah. people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, yeah. when, 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 when God give us to be leaders, you know, yeah. over the people, he, lead the people, yeah. not harass the people. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Not being Lord over people. And a lot yeah. of this hurt have come and not even that, but even with the cliques, you know what I'm uh-uh. saying? And, yeah. and, and, yeah. and the ministries, cliques wow. are going on. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And people are yeah. being wounded and they're being hurt. And you know, a lot of people say, I don't like going to church. If I want to be hurt, I deal with it out here in the streets, you know. Yeah. So it's a yeah. lot of that going on. But wow. we just we, we pray for that spirit of yeah. hurt that is going on in these churches that people will be relieved from this hurt because every Hallelujah. ministry is not the same. Yeah. So we pray for that now, Father. We pray that those that are going through hurt from ministries, yes. God, yes, that God. you would just Help them, God, that you will heal them inside and out of church hurt. In the yeah. name of Jesus, the yeah. Lord, we thank you right now that you have the perfect ministry, that you have the right ministry, you have the right man and woman of God just for them, oh God. Yeah. And Lord, we yeah. ask now that you will even deal with the leaders that yeah. are walking in the spirit, God. You know who they are. Lord, we ask now that you would shake them up in the midnight hour on tonight and let them know, hallelujah, that you are over these people, that you have sent them to speak to your people, to help them, oh God. But you are the head chief over the people. And Lord, we thank you right now that these leaders will get it right, that they won't be lost for causing hurt to someone. And for those that might not know, Lord, that they have hurt it, Lord, let them show them. In the name of Jesus, because we know that we're living in the last days. And we want to hear you say, well done, thy good and faithful servant, not depart from me. So, God, whatever is in us, that's not right, Lord. We say, have your way in us tonight. In the name of Jesus, anything that's not lining up in your word, oh, God. We want to walk in the spirit of your footsteps, God, not in ours. Because we know we can take ourselves to a dead end. But, God, what you have for us is everlasting. And so we thank you right now, God, for healing, for divine healing right now, inside and out. Divine healing right now, God. Breathe your breath of divine healing in the nostrils of your people all over the world. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God, I thank the Lord for this. Show I didn't even know I was going like that, man of God. I didn't know I, I'm out. telling you, I, I feel I feel the Holy Ghost. Amen. My Holy God, Ghost. I that did not fresh. know. I I just remember I just said it before we got, got on the shot yeah. that we just go with the flow. And yeah. I thank God that He gave me to just you know lift you up and others in prayer and Amen. people around the world pray. You know that's what He gave me to do. Pray. Amen. And I Amen. thank God for that. So, like, if someone 
wants to connect with you or get in contact with you, how do they connect with you? Well, I'm on, um, of course, on Facebook, um, Anthony Wells, um, Instagram, uh, mm-hmm. Anthony Wells. They could connect with me there. Um, also, um, email t.wells, I-N-C, at yahoo.com. Mm-hmm. Um, they could connect me through those uh, through those avenues. Okay. <laughs> I yeah. know you've been seeing those pages being flooded. <laughs> yeah, and I love it. And I'm telling you, I'm excited. I say this woman of God is just doing it. Amen. <laughs> praise, praise God for you. I'm telling you, I am thankful. You know, God will always, you know, when you feel like no one's there, God will send somebody. Amen. And I, I believe yeah. God really just sent you to, to help us and to be a blessing to us. So I thank God. Uh, for you, for what you Amen. Amen. I said, if when mind, I though, can I mention really quick? Well, oh, go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Um, um, I am excited about these actors and actresses that's a part. Yes, of I was going to ask you about that. Yeah, uh, yeah, I am. So I'm telling you, um, uh, Gerard Brooks. Yeah, um, he was a worship leader and you know a, a recording artist and his own right, ministering all over the country. Uh, um, awesome. Toya Smith Adams, Pastor Mark Holloway. Who, yeah. who's a pastor and a singer, recording artist, mm-hmm. um, Sarah Bosley, mm-hmm. uh, Latoya Turntine Brown, okay, um, Fred Abney, and it's a young man. He's ten years old. This is his first play. Oh, um, wow. I tell you that you all are going to be blown away by this young man. His name is Austin Mangum. Austin Mangum, and, and I'm telling y'all, be looking out for him because I believe he's getting ready to take this city by storm. He's such an awesome actor and, Amen. and singer, and he's just 10 years old. And then we have uh, Latricia Garrett, uh, LaDora King, Brenda Miles, Sarah Bosley, all of these anointed just actors and singers. So I'm excited about this cast. I'm telling you, yeah. the nine. All, I call it an all-star cast. Amen. All right. All right. Well, you know what? I'm I'm excited. I saw the commercial. I looked at the commercial. You know, yeah. you, it's like it almost it'll have you like at the edge of your seat. Like, wow, I wonder what else going to happen. Wonder what's going on. It's like you can't wait to to check it out. To, to yeah, you know, you know how some movies they'll show you just the good parts, and then when you go oh, see yeah. the movie, you're mm-hmm. like, okay, that was that was the only good parts what they showed in the commercial. It's not like that in this play. Like yeah. the whole yeah. play is just as good as the commercial. The whole play. So I'm telling you. Um, you really, you know, everyone that's listening, you really should come in and see it. Amen. And that's the main thing I've been doing when I've been posting up. I've been saying you don't want to miss it. Yeah, definitely. Get your ticket. Also, also, I want to say Emmanuel, Emmanuel Johnson, all mm-hmm. the music in the play is original music okay. um, that was written uh, specifically for the play by um, uh, uh, Emmanuel Johnson. He, and he's also produced a soundtrack. For mm-hmm. the play. So we're going to have a soundtrack for the play that night as well that, that can be purchased. You know, and all these awesome singers, they went into the studio, they recorded the music, and I'm telling you, it's anointed songs, anointed music that you, you can take back home with you, you know, on that night. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. That's awesome. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Well, man of God, we thank God for you uh, being on with us tonight to um, let us know uh, what the pains of the past play is about, you know what I'm saying, and to just share, you know, with us or uh, even around the world on tonight. We just thank God. And, and just like I had stated uh, earlier, as um, soon as we get off the air, um, there mm-hmm. will be a link that will post up on my page where mm-hmm. I will tag you all in. And those that did not wasn't able to hear the show or those that came in on the middle and didn't hear the beginning of it, they will be able to listen to it. You will be able to hear it yourself over again. You'll be able to download it the whole nine. So uh, just look out for for me to uh, tag you. And and once again, like I said, I just thank God for you. I thank God for uh, LaDora uh, um, uh, talking with her back and forth and also to our sister, Michelle Durant, because it was through her how we connected. So Amen. I thank God because she knows when I promote, I promote. 
Yeah, and so um, <laughs> I'll be <laughs> on the job. Some people say that they promote and they do a little something, but when I do it, you're going to see it, you Amen. know. Amen. And so we just thank God for that. So in saying that, man of God, I look forward um, to having you on with us again, um, even yeah. talking about the outcome of the play. And not only that, who knows, you know, you come on and minister. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, yeah, yeah you come on and uh, minister to the people. Amen. And so um, so in saying that, we're going to um, let those know that are listening in that we thank you all uh, for tuning in um, on tonight to the Angels of Melody right here on Worship Center Radio. Tune in on next Thursday. We have a great woman of God here in Detroit that will be on with us sharing a powerful testimony. Also, she's a gospel recording artist, too. Her name is uh, Ethel uh, Lee Johnson. So we thank God for her. We're going to be having her on with us as well. And we'll be able to hear some of the great music that God has given her. And we just want you to always remember, don't live good to die bad, but live good to die great in Christ Jesus. And we just want to say, God bless you all. Have a wonderful and blessed weekend. And taking us off the air is our brother there in Lagos, Nigeria, Sam Abu Bay, and the great song called Thankful. God bless you all once again and have a blessed night. Oh, 